Ciao, Amici's. Happy New Year. Um, I'm here to show you my setup for the month. And I'm well, I not just to show you the setup, but um, I'll actually do a walkthrough of how we're going to set it up. So um, in my last video, I had just started to finish um, some of this up. And here's my side packet over here with all the paper clips and all this whatnot. Um, this was a transparency that came with the kit. And then I used the word brave from a pink paisley um, paper that was in one of the extras that you could get, um, one of the extra paper add-ons. And it has all sorts of great words, love, happy, joy, wild, heart, and brave, um, fearless, awesome. So I thought this was a great way, um, great way to use my word for the year. So brave is my word of the year and just trying to do things that are out of my norm um, and, you know, being comfortable. Um, the back paper, again, was from the planner kit. This was a four by six journaling card that was in the day of the life. And then um, the swashi is from the kit. And this was, this aqua one was from a day in the life kit from the summer. So this is where the paper, my notepad paper goes. So I still have like a ton printed up from months prior. And again, those are just all the free printables. Transparency here is from last month as well. It has that slight little snowflake print on it. And then this was a card from the kit. Paper from the kit. Paper from the kit. So I am, let's see, December is done. Goodbye, my love. And we are now in January. So I have this set up. Um, the tape just shows here um, things that we have these particular days um, that repeats going back to school, husband having to do things, and just other play dates that we have going on. And then I just, these I had made before in another video showing um, how I keep a few months out, and that's how I keep track of it. Okay, so I'm going to take out December. As you can see, it's like I'm not even using my planner the, this with like everybody being home because everybody is so, we're just, we're doing nothing. We're just hanging out, which is exactly how I would prefer to spend my vacation time. Um, I don't need to go traveling around. I mean, if we did, had to, we would, but we don't. And my husband and I are just fine with that. So here's the January kit. So... Let's go ahead and does it really say that I only have okay, sorry. I thought it was telling me to had time limit again after I just cleared out a ton of space, but I don't. I read it incorrectly. Okay. So again, this was what I made in the last video with the transparency that was in there, and then this was the stamp set that came with the kit as well. And I just used stays on ink. Um that will stay on the actual transparency. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that there. I'm gonna take my week here. And I'm gonna grab all of my die cuts and all of the stickers. So I'm not, I can't remember which was which because I get the add on and I get the planner kit. Um, and here was my back page as well. Isn't she pretty? I just love her. Okay. Oh, and this was the stamp kit that came with this month's planner kits. Alrighty. So, get that over here. I'm just going to get my calendar opened. So if I need to refer to it, that we have anything going on, I can remember to put it in there, <laughs> which we don't have a lot of because, again, as I said, it's vacation, and we're happy to be doing nothing. Okie dokie. So I'm going to get, I love using lots of different washies, and we have a fun event over the weekend that we'll be able to go to. So I want to mark that off here because we're not sure what day we're going to be going. 
So put this here. And this is actually from um, the Me and the My Big Ideas um, ah, sticker. I don't know if that those big sticker things they have. And you'll be, um, so it's the Plymouth Ice Fest. So hopefully it actually stays cold enough because I swear every year they have the Ice Fest. <laughs> It um it gets too warm and all of the um <laughs> all of the things end up melting. <laughs> so I mean it's kind of funny, but not for the actual like vendors who go there to like have this awesome event put on for us. But um it's a great family oriented um, really for anybody to go um, an activity. So. We always somehow have some sort of fun. Um, did I just put the wrong day? I did. Shoot. Oh, I forgot. Today is still on the last. I always do this. I always think this is a Sunday start. I don't know why. Because I've been doing this for how long now? And I still forget. So, come on. Come on. There we go. All right, let me put my one back. <laughs> okay, that was funny. All right, so two, three. I knew something was wrong when I was putting these down. I was like, wait a minute, these dates are wrong. Sure. Sorry, I'm like referring back to my other calendar to make sure I haven't completely um, screwed it up again. <laughs> Seven and eight. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What we're gonna do here. This is my week of forward planning. So I'm just using the stickers that were here. Um, I don't put the number of weeks. I know a lot of people use this for um, they're journaling, and I just, that's not how I, I use them. So, um, I like to just put them over there like that. And, like, I name my weeks whatever I um, think is going on. Whether, like, the last one I put was, like, the week of Merry and Bright for Christmas. Um, I had weeks of, you know, I put, um, like, a week of family crazy and or no sleep because we had too many things going on. Okay. And then some of these thin washies here are from a earlier kit as well. Um, actually, were they the Simon kit or the holiday add-on? They may have, may have been the holiday add-on. I don't think they were the Simon kit. Our events that we do on Friday or on Tuesday, I'm sorry, on Tuesday, and then let's see what else do we have going on. So ice Fest. And then let's see. We have lunch here. Okay, this is gonna bug me. It keeps popping up. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, so let's see what can we use here since 
we're going to the ice fest. Let's use our little snowflakes. And let's see. Do I have my gray? Yes. Come on. There we go. I love using this gray. It's by Color Theory and it's called Clean Slate. So I bought that from Studio Calico. Um, and I love using that because it's not as harsh as using black. Like these stand out when they're in black and then in the gray it just looks kind of subtle, which I kind of like. And then I do like these little icons that she has here that I'm going to use. I wish they were a little closer together. Um, but then I can um, mark off. Oops, that like didn't get on there at all. Let's see. Um. So I use this to mark off my um, the supplements that I have to take, which I guess I will put over here. There we go. I actually might cut these and make them closer together. Because um, as you can see, like in my other ones, I write them quite close together. So I just take like a probiotic, a vitamin B, a vitamin C, and then I take an omega um, supplement as well. So I write those off, write those on there and then mark them off when I take them. Um, because again, this is my, my planner stays in the house. I don't um, bring this out with me. I actually have my Dory for that. Um, and I usually like write my grocery list in there and any anything else that I need to. But I do like these little these little guys. These are cute. I'm just gonna I think cut them down so that way they fit in my planner better, or like fit on the the day and they don't take up as much room. Okay, and then usually on the weekend I don't write them down there because. The weekend space, there's there's not a lot of space, so I would that would take up a whole bunch. So I typically do not do that. Um, okay, let me put these away and then I'll clean them off. Otherwise, I'll lose them because these snowflakes are so tiny. So tiny. Okay. Um, Okay, so where is, I'm going to have to find different color ink to use for the month here because I normally was using, um, what was it, that studio, a studio calico color that I received in one of their warehouse sales, this, this color theory one with, um, what was it called, Brick House, <laughs> and it, I used it for pretty much every month for quite a while, so... Okay, so tomorrow, work out. And then I'm also, let's see, so I'm gonna go on Monday and then Saturday morning, I'll be able to go to a class as well. And then I fit in a different workout another time throughout the week, which is typically like a little video at home. Um, but as I said on like my Facebook page that I have, I don't do well working out at home, which is why I like going to classes because 
I'm much more motivated by being around other people and having the instructor there and, you know, making sure that your form is correct and motivating you. But that's just me, right? Um, let's see. Okay. I'm going to do this little birdie stamp over here by lunch. Um, shoot, I don't have any... I guess what I can do... Where's my silver stamp? My silver ink pad. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. It's gone. Alright, I guess we'll just use gold. I think I'm actually going to save these in another video and I'm going to put these on tassels on a little, um, uh, where is it at? Why is it at focusing? And put them on a paper clip. That's what I want to do with them. So, anyway. Okay, so let's use some more stickers because I think we all had said in the Planner 102 class that why are we keeping all the stickers? <laughs> Right? We don't need to keep all the stickers. Um, okay. Well, let's see new beginnings today. Okay. I'll save these for other ones too though. Okay. So I think this is how I'm going to keep this week. And then the only other thing I'm going to put on here is a tab because um, I keep, I put this in my um, day in the life binder. So if I like something happened that day and I like journal in the back, I can go back and we can see like, what did we do that day? What was so fun about that day? Um, Oh, no, it's not focusing. Sorry about that. Was that out of focus the entire time? There we go. All right, so this will go straight into the planner. Put that guy over here. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to do was to make a fun little pocket with these. Um, personal planner pages. Now, as you know, I have an A5, right? So, um, I still print up all the different sizes of the free printables because either I use them, I, I end up using them in some other way. Um, and, or like my, I give them to my girls, like I'll write their lunch notes on them. I use them in some sort of wacky way. So what I'm going to do is we're going to, um, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to cut these up. Let me see. Okay. So we are back. So what I want to do is make a cute little pocket, um, to put some things in. So let me get one of my pages here real quick. So I can judge where I need to put the holes. Oh, I'm going to end up having to put a hole through her, but 
one. And where are my... It's right here. <laughs> okay, so first, I need to staple this. So I need to staple here, and I'm going to staple here. Well, I guess what it could do is it could actually where are my extra pages? Okay. That is what I'm gonna do. So I am actually gonna cut this real quick here. So see, this is called like, just doing something on the web. Because <laughs> everything I do is just on the web. So I'm just using whatever they had here. And there's no measuring here. I just want it has so this it has the beautiful um print here. Okay, where'd she go? There she's at. So, right now, I'm just going to do this. And I am going to cut it. Now I'm going to measure this up against here so I didn't have to put a hole through her because she's too pretty. Too pretty. Okay. So I'm going to line these up and just punch a hole. One. Two. Three. And again, um, my larger paper is an E5. It's just a Carpe Diem planner. So, okay. So see, there we go. All right. And basically, what I want to do is create, and again, now I'm going to use this over here. basically a little pocket that you can like pull stuff out of that you might want to refer to. So what I might actually put on there um, is like a calendar at a glance. I went up to Target and they had all sorts of little um, of the calendars in that section. You know, they're the quote unquote dollar section that you end up spending a arm and a leg on. Yeah, that section. <laughs> and you all know what I'm talking about. I know you do. <laughs> right? Because we all have the same issue. Um, okay, so I am going to... All right, so this is the idea. The idea is I'm going to have something on here and then I'll be able to, like, pull it out. Do you see what I'm saying? Like that. So I am going to figure out, let's see. No major measuring. I'm just guesstimating. But I am going to go, oops, sorry, I didn't realize you, right here. Cut that one, like I did that one. Okay, like that. All right, so I'm going to just trim these up a little bit on the inside, because those don't need to be exactly the same. Oops. Okay. 
Okay. Wonderful. So now I am going to take my stapler and make sure. See, I need to go down a little bit more. I'm worried that I'm going to staple this part that I want to slide out because I don't really work, care about what this inside part looks like. This isn't even, and it's going to drive me backwards. There we go. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to staple here. Did it work? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> and here. And now the only thing, so see, you'll be able to pull it like in and out right and if you want it so what I'm going to do is put a little tab on here so I am going to use let's see what do we have from all the printables that I could use um, I mean I could use one of these actually right See, is that going to stick out far enough? Let me do it with this real quick. Before I use that sticker, so if I push that in. Okay. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to stick. Am I in the frame? Sorry, I should have. Okay, so this comes out, and now I can pull this in and out. And what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to put a little calendar on here that I can pull in and out as well. So um, it's like not a huge amount of space, but it's enough that I can tuck things in and do that. Now, if you really want to do, I if I was, I could have put the staple like all the way back here, but that was before I had realized I had put the three holes here, so it could go all the way back in and out. But anyway, you get the drift. So just a little side pocket. And then the other thing, where was the other printable? So this one came with a 2016 and a 2017. So I'm going to this so that's the way it looks torn All right. and maybe what I'll actually like put in this little thing if I want to trim this up again um, is I can put my goals in here and that's probably what I'll end up doing. So it could be used for whatever you want to use it for. And I'm going to take... Alright, I have some pink. We'll see how... just this dress ink. And wipe them off. There we go.
Okay. So I'm going to put this by my work stuff. And I can pull this in and out and have my goals for work. And they'll be right there at my fingertips. Anything that I want to write down. I really like that. I think she's fun. And then, okay. Then we have, so don't forget to cut out your um, bookmark. Here, let me, here we go. Bookmark and the other three journaling cards. So I'm going to cut those out and then um, I don't think I'll do anything crazy with that. So <laughs> I'll end the video at this and um, get this up so you all can enjoy. And if you have any questions about anything, um, ask away in the comments. I hope you had fun and a happy new year as well. Bye.